Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gang Han, a symposium chair and a vice president of American Rock Mechanics Association. On behalf of my co-chairs, Abdullah Aziz Mansour of the Haran Geoscience Society, Muhammad Badri of Society of Exploration Geophysicists, Tariq Mahmoud of Saudi Aramco, we welcome you to the 2020 AMA DGS SEG International Geomechanics Symposium. This is a festival for all rock jockeys. In the next three days, we will focus on optimizing production and the recovery from naturally and hydraulically fractured reservoirs. We have three goals to achieve. The symposium will provide a platform to exchange geomechanics experience and know-how among technology providers, developers, and the practitioners. Second is to connect geomechanics expertise and knowledge with regional challenges. And third, to provide the training opportunities for young professionals and the students. In the next few slides, I will highlight who we are, where we come from, and what we will do. First, who we are. The three co-hosting societies have been working together and developing the symposium for the past 12 months. They are American Rock Mechanics Association, AMA, the Huron Geoscience Society, DGS, and the Society of Exploration Geophysics, SEG. We also would like to acknowledge the generous support from Saudi Aramco, Plan Team, and the student sponsor, Silver Sponsors, Rockfield, and Metarock. It is their generosities that have made today possible, not only for professionals, but also for students in the region. Thank you. Ideally, each society will introduce themselves. However, in order to reduce technical glitches, I have been delegated to introduce all three societies. First, the Haran Geoscience Society. DGS vision is to become a globally recognized professional society that enables regional oil and gas geoscience professionals to share technical knowledge that is essential to meet the world's energy needs in a safe and environmentally responsible manner. Its mission is to provide technical and professional development for our members in the domain of exploration for and development of petroleum and mineral resources within Saudi Arabia. Founded in 1987, DGS is a regional society with over 3,000 members. It regularly holds technical exchanges, professional development, and public outreach activities. Second is uh, Society of Exploration Geophysicists. Its mission is to connect the world of applied geophysics, including advancing the science of exploration geophysics, fostering common scientific interests, supporting humanitarian efforts, accelerating geophysical innovation. Headquartered in Tulsa, DDS has regional offices in Dubai, Beijing, and Kuala Lumpur. A global society, SEG supports over 14,000 members from 114 countries, including 112 active student chapters in 31 countries and 53 sections of associated societies. Now come to AMA. American Rock Mechanics mission is to be the worldwide recognized representation of multidisciplinary rock mechanics advancement and applications to serve its members and the public. AMA members are from petroleum, 
civil, mining, geothermal, and other interdisciplines. I'm a composed of both directors, fellows, future leaders, student chapters, and staff. There are several technical committees at ARM, including hydraulic factoring, drilling mechanics and engineering, induced seismicity, underground storage and utilization, which also includes uh, CO2 sequestration and turnaround. ARM organizes annual symposia, international meetings such as this one, workshops, topical forums, training courses, and publications. It issues annual awards to research, applied research, case history, PhD dissertation, master thesis, outstanding contribution, and a distinguished member service. All other members are why are we are here? In 2018, AMR and DGS held the first geomechanics workshop in Bahrain. We focused on the role of geomechanics in stimulation, as attending needs were mostly from AMR hydraulic factoring community. It is AMR group with over 900 members from 323 international organizations. This is a group of photos of those attending needs. Many familiar faces, including then DGS Vice President Halaf Tamimi and AMA Vice President Joe Morris. Both are the presidents of the societies now. By the way, you may notice Professor Thomas Finkbanner in the front seat with a street leg after a ski accident. It was mind blowing. Fun and a successful event. As a matter of fact, all 109 attendees stayed through the three days of training and technical programs. After group discussions in the last afternoon, many attendees came forward and complained the schedule was not enough. As a result, AMR and DGS had a commit to go back in 2020. Last April, the then DGS president, Mohammed Duhalen, visited Houston. We had discussion over the time and the location of 2020 meeting. He said, God, how about having the meeting in Tehran and show the world a new kingdom? You may recall back then, the country had just opened up for tourists. We were excited to have the first international geomechanics meeting in the kingdom. Fast forward, today we are gathering here. Pandemic has restricted our travels, but nothing has stopped knowledge sharing and technology exchange. We are here of this group of world-class professionals. The organizing committee has been working diligently and restlessly for the past 12 months. These include the logistic team of Abdullah Aziz Maiso, Yugani Mahathir, Claire Gills, Beth Rees. In addition, the SEG staff, Anika Clerk and Bahawana Raj, has been helping our lifeguards looking after registrations, website, social media, marketing, and online platform. Technical teams made of AMA board uh, member Joe Morris, the current, current president, executive director Peter Smitty, AMA fellows Mark Zobeck, John McLennan, and Herbert Einstein. I'm a future leaders, Jesse Hampton, who is also leading the technical reviews of the, all the abstracts and the papers. Uh, Rita Rosa, Xiaodong Ma, also future leaders. In addition, Thomas Finkbanner, Francis Elizabeth, Abdel Wahab Nofo, 
uh, Juan uh, Chavez Flores, Halid uh, Ruveli, uh, Romo uh, Urbina, Mukashama, Giovanni Graceli, Anireza Agarazi, Tobias Ahoying. The corporate team for its sponsors includes Tariq uh, Mahmoud, Mohammed Badri, Osman Hamid, Munia Elding, John Ken, uh, Gilliam, Ada Guluf, Mark Kocho, Satya Paramula. As a result of their dedications and hard efforts, this meeting has attracted 82 abstracts based on the technical reviews and author preferences. 26 authors have been selected to present in the seven technical sessions this week. Additionally, we are blessed to have four acclaimed keynote speakers. In total, 160 attendees have registered, representing 50 international organizations in 15 countries. We easily have beaten Bahrain record. Each morning or evening, depending on where you are, we will start with pre-event networking, followed by technical sessions, sandwiched by keynotes and short breaks. After technical programs, feel free to take advantage of the networking post-event and discuss with uh, our speakers and peers. Today, we are pleased to welcome Mr. Ahmed El Atabi to open the program on behalf of Saudi Aramco. After the first technical session on in-situ stress and natural fractures, Professor Mark Zobeck of Stanford will deliver a keynote on optimizing production in all conventional reservoirs. A geomechanics perspective followed by the second technical session, Stress Dependent Rock. Tomorrow, Professor John McLaren at the University of Utah will open Wednesday with his keynote, Reservoir Characterization and Fracturing at the Utah Forge site followed by the first session, Drilling Geomechanics. After the break, Professor Herbert Einstein of MIT will address his keynote, Uncertainty and the Risk in Geoengineering, followed by the second session on Hydraulic Fracturing, featuring five speakers on fracture observation and modeling. On Thursday, the three Technical sessions will present latest advancements in coupled reservoir geomechanics, the values of geomechanics through the field cases, and uh, new technologies, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Professor Mukashama will deliver a keynote after the first session on integrated fracturing, geomechanics, and the reservoir simulation using a fit for purpose tool. Now let the speakers, session chairs, and OC members. These are all familiar faces you may recognize either before or after this meeting, you will become familiar with. And in order to contact them, you once you log in, you click the launch button to the left and you will find the table where they will be sitting and waiting for you to socialize. And those are the speakers and the session chairs um, from different uh, uh, days and program sessions. Feel free to drop by and say hi. You can also message them uh, privately and discuss anything that uh, you may want to discuss with them. We thank you all for making efforts to join us today. The attendees from operators, service providers, and the universities, research institute. Looking at this list, list so with so many organizations 
from all over the world. We can't be prouder. Together, we are making history. As I mentioned, to help networking, we are providing two unique opportunities. First, it's one hour before the event to mix and mingle with other attending needs. Each table runs for five minutes before you switch to the next table and say hello to each other. Second is one hour after the technical sessions to join focused discussions with speakers, session chairs, and peers. A group of table will be assigned to each session. Feel free to join any of them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without the further ado, let's welcome Mr. Ahmed El Otabi. Mr. Otabi is the manager of gas reservoir characterization department at Saudi Aramco Oil Company. His experience encompasses 28 years working upstream and in various management positions, including area exploration, upstream joint venture, drilling, and walkover joint venture. He received his uh, master's degree with distinction in earth sciences from Keio University, United Kingdom, and uh, a bachelor degree in engineering degree degree from King Abdulaziz University in Saudi Arabia. He also has completed several business leadership programs, including the finance for executives. His main areas of interest include financial joint venture, integrated uh, reservoir characterization, in particular geomechanics, biogenesis, and 3D Geological reservoir modeling. Mr. Otevi, the floor is yours. Uh, 